Welcome back once again, yogis. It's another brief stretch session. This one just simply to loosen up the body. So if that's all you need to do today, this is the practice for you. We'll start standing. Let your arms dangle by your sides. Chest up, relax the shoulders. And even though you're standing up and finding a little bit of length, let your body soften just a little bit. Right, so maybe the shoulders kind of hang down a little and maybe shake the hands a little bit. Start to move a little side to side. Then as you move side to side, let the arms move a little bit more. So putting enough momentum in the swing so that your arms start hitting the sides of your body. And you can even kind of let your gaze go with your body. And just really loosening things up. And there's something that's just really fun and playful about this kind of stretch, this kind of shake out. So every now and again, I really like to include this in the practice because it always puts a smile on my face. I hope it puts a smile on yours too, okay. Let's start to slow it down. Bring yourself back to center. I'm going to face the front of the mat. You feel free to do the same if you're not already there. Standing tall, check in with your feet. Your feet should be just a few inches apart, maybe hip width distance. They should look like the number 11 with your feet being nicely parallel. Lift all 10 toes and spread the toes wide. You can return your gaze forward and without looking back down, rest your toes again on the mat. Maybe roll forward, maybe roll back, maybe roll a little side to side. Again, finding a little bit of movement in this standing position. Chest up, relax the shoulders, let the palms slightly turn forward. Inhale, sweep the arms around. Grab your right wrist with the left hand, stretch up and over to the left. Keep the tailbone lengthening down. Come back to center, grab the left wrist, stretch up and over to your right. Come back to center, now fold over the legs, soften the knees and take your hands to opposite elbows as you settle into a, an uncomplicated ragdoll pose. Make sure that you have at least a micro bend in the knees, but you're welcome to bend the knees as much as you like. Making sure that there are no straight legs here, right? We want the micro bend so that we're easing off the hamstrings, we're easing off the lower back. And you can nod the head or sway a little here if that feels good. Stay with the breath. And switch the hands, opposite hand on top. And let your arms relax toward the mat, lift the chest. Feel free if you want to put a block under the hands here, that might help optional of course. Chest up, put a little bend in the right knee as the left leg straightens out. Keep the head lifting. Lift the left arm up toward the sky. Open to the left side. Lower your left hand as you soften both knees. Little bend in the left leg as the right leg straightens. Chest up, lift the right arm up, opening to the right. Lower the right hand down toward the mat. Soften through both knees. Lift the chest. Step your left leg back in a low lunge. Bring both hands inside the right foot and pivot as you now face the left side of the room, coming into a wide-legged fold. Prasarita Padottanasana. Your feet are about three to four feet apart and both feet remain parallel. You can option one, just let your hands rest on the mat as the crown of the head lengthens toward the mat. Option, and this is one that I like to do because it feels like I'm tractioning the spine here by lowering forearms onto the mat and interlacing the fingers, but very lightly 
right? Loosely interlacing fingers. So the shoulders soften away from the ears. This is another area where, or another pose, uh, actually, where you want a micro bend in the knees, no locking out the knees. And of course, if the knees need to bend, you can let them bend here too, right? Relax the toes, shoulders out of the ears, and just let yourself, again, hang in the stretch. Let's give it another full breath. And returning hands to the mat, lift the chest. Let's do a little side lunge. Go to your left as you bend the left knee, stretch the right leg. Keep the chest lifted and hold. And come through the center. Go the other way. Bend the right knee as you stretch the left leg. Skandasana, side lunge, one breath. Let's do a little side to side. Come back to center, keep the chest lifted, bend the left knee, stretch the right leg. Come to center, bend the right knee and stretch the left. Center it out, one more time left. Center, one more time right. Center. Lifting the chest, bring your hands to the waist, press up slow to stand. Coming all the way up, relax the shoulders, heel, toe the feet all the way back together. Standing nice and tall, setting up Rikshasana tree pose, shifting your weight to the left leg, turn the right toes out. Look at one point past the end of the nose, maintaining your gaze on the drishti. That's gonna help with your balance because your energy flows where your gaze goes. With, without stepping the foot against the knee, bring the right leg in to the left leg. Stand tall, press down, lift, create space, bring the prayer to the heart. Chest up, relax the shoulders, lift the arms, separate the hands. Give yourself enough flexibility to be able to move with the breath like a tree blowing in the breeze. One more deep breath. Return the prayer to the heart. Lower the right leg, switch sides, shift your weight. Now the left toes turn out, maintaining gaze on your fixed point on your drishti, stepping the left leg in, avoid the knee. Press the foot against the leg, the leg against the foot. Chest up, relax the shoulders, press down, lift. Separate the hands. Soften the space between the eyebrows. One more breath. Bring the prayer again to the heart. Lower the left leg down. Inhale, sweep the arms around, Urdhva Hastasana, reach, maybe look up. Exhale, dive over the legs, soften the knees, we'll lift the chest and have a seat on the mat. I'm gonna take a cross-legged seat and sit on a block because it feels good for my lower back. Feel free to do the same. Sitting on a prop helps to lengthen the lower back so you don't have to struggle so much to sit tall. So feel free to do the same. Let your hands relax in the lap or you can turn the backs of the hands onto the legs with the palms up. We'll end here today. If you'd like to close your eyes and focus on the breath for a little bit meditating, feel free to do so. If the eyes need to stay open, feel free to do that as well. But it's always encouraged to take a couple of moments to decompress from the stretch. So you bring the energy down just a little bit and let the body have an opportunity to restore and recover before returning to your day. Thank you again for joining me on the mat. Until we meet again, namaste.